What's up everyone? I'm Timothy I'm Milam Jr. You're watching Milam Asylum. Thanks for tuning in, checking out this review. Please like and share and maybe I can earn that sub. Um, I'm guessing it's a Hulu original, um, but it's by 20th Century Fox. Darby and the Dead stars Re Really Real Really Downs Alil E. Cavalho Chosen Jacobs Asher Angel directed by Silas Howard and those names are insane I don't even know how to say it. the it's R I E L E so Really Downs and then the other one is A U L I apostrophe I. So yeah, it's very, very interesting. Um, there's a lot of stuff wrong with this movie, like unbelievable stuff. I mean, apart from her being able to see dead people, um, that's actually more realistic than a lot of the other stuff that they have in this film. Um, I just, everything just kind of seems forced upon everyone in this film. Um, it was, yeah, I wanted to like it and I was hoping it was going to be an interesting film that was, you know, going to be about a girl who communicates with dead people and kind of have some kind of a interesting story, but that's like, this very tiny part of it that's almost non-existent, really. Um, and it goes to more of the extreme uh, rebel girl trying to fit in and be popular. And that's pretty much the direction where this movie goes. It's... I, I want to say give it a shot, but at the same time I, I want to just say just... Don't even bother watching it because it's just pointless. And it is. It's a pointless film. Um, did I enjoy it? It it was a popcorn movie. But it served no relevance at all. Um, yeah. Tony Danz is in it though. So if you're a fan of him, you might want to check it out. But anyways, um, it's a 4.2 out of 10 definitely not worth watching um, you're not gonna miss anything if you don't watch it and as I said there is nothing in this film to make you want to watch it but anyways I'm Timothy Almayam Jr. and until next time 